ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه به ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا اما بعد جزاكم الله خير my dear respect brothers and sisters جزاكم الله خير for tuning in may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you باذن الله تعالى today i'm going to be discussing with you a very special name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even though many of us tend to know some of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we want to we want to in interact with them. We want to feel those names. We want to uh, uh, enjoy those names. And inshallah, one of the things that we want, we try to do here with the Ta'ala is we try to, how could we know more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And the more you know about Allah, the creator, the creator of the universe, the more you would have a special relationship with your creator with the Ta'ala. Today, my dear respect for us, we're going to be talking about the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Latif, Al-Latif, the most kind. My dear respect for sisters, have you ever felt that you are feeling insecure and you feel that some people are planning things against you? Have you ever felt, my dear respect for sisters, that you one time went to the doctor and the doctor has given you not great, so much great news and you feeling uh, a feeling of hopelessness? Have you ever, my dear respect for sisters, felt uh, that, that you are despair from your surrounding and despair from the bad news that is coming to you? My dear respect for sisters, if you have these kinds of feelings, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. And He is the Latif. He is the most kind toward His creation. My dear respect for sisters, with, with us knowing this name, and the more we enjoy this name, the more you're going to have a special relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the more that you will be able to uh, knock on the door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking Him for His kindness with Allah ta'ala. My dear respect for sisters, what is the word? Al-Latif mean, or what is what is the what is um, the most kind mean? It means the one the one who the creator who take care of his creation, the creator who have perfected his creation, the creation who is most gentle with his creation, a creator a creator who who wants to benefit his creation in all sorts of ways, and this is because he is what the most kind. My dear respect brothers and sisters, if Allah Subhanahu wa Taala the most kind, He want to give you victory, He would He He would He would give you victory without any reason. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most kind, if he want to give you something, he would give you for reasons and for no reasons. Allah, because he is the most kind. You know, if you, if the most kind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he want to protect you from a, 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 a catastrophe, if he want to protect you from a calamity, he protect you, you know, without, even if you're the greatest enemies are against you. The most kind, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he want to protect you from committing a sin, he will protect you because he is the most kind and he is the, and, and, he, and he, he he loves his his creation and he loves his uh, you know to, he lo Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love to be to, to take care of us and love you know to to uh, show us his bounties, my dear respect for sisters, and those who enjoy this relationship. Those who know this name, the Allah, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Latif, the most kind, they be able to sense, they be able to sense and translate some of the things that happen to them in their surrounding in the right perspective. They say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have done this to me because he is the most kind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have, 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 have given me this because he is the most kind. Allah, yesterday, this happened to me because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most kind. So you be able to translate your surrounding, and you'll be able to have you, you'll be able to have a better look of what happened outside in the outside world, and you'll you be able to put things in perspective with Allah Taala. Let me give you my dear respect, brothers, some examples. When Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the Most Kind, you know, He want to protect Sayyidina Yusuf, the Prophet Yusuf, and He want to release him from jail. What did Allah, the Most Kind have done? Did He send armies? Did he uh, uh, sent, uh, 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 made made a revolution? No. The only thing the most kind have done is what he have made the king of Egypt have a dream, have a dream, because he is the most kind. With a simple dream, you know, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala you know, made Sayyidina Yusuf, the Prophet Yusuf, to be to to, to be released from jail. When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala the most kind. He want to, to to he want Musa السلام, Prophet Moses to come back to his mother while he while he was living in the castle of Pharaoh. Pharaoh, what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala have done? 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, did he, did, did, again, did he send armies? Did he cha change the world? No. He only made Moses, Sayyidina Musa, not accept the milk of all of the women. Simple act. And with that simple act, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfilled the promise of that he have given to the mother of Moses and he have retained Sayyidina Musa to his mother. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my dear respect brothers, the, the most kind, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most kind, he wanted to what? He wanted to save Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the punishment of Quraysh when they abandoned them for three years. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have done? He have, he have sent an insect, an insect to eat the laws and the, the, uh, the rules that Quraysh have posted on the Kaaba. And this, this insect have, have ate everything except in the name of Allah because he is the most kind. He is the most gentle. He sent us things and he sent us messages. But the question is, is are we able to translate these messages, my dear respect brothers and sisters? Because he what? He is the most kind. He wants to take care of us. He, want, he, he loves us. He wants us to come back to him. But the question is, my dear respect brothers and sisters, are we able are we able to translate these things into perspective? You know, how many times, my dear respect brothers and sisters, you know, you, you would wake up for Fajr or you would wake up for Qiyam al-Layl because something have happened in your surrounding. Something have fallen or the window was open and, and, and the, blue, the wind blew. And because of this happened, you, you know, you, you, this woke you up and enabled you to, to, to pray Fajr. And, uh, and, and enabled you to make Qiyam al-Layl and enabled you uh, uh, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Did it happen for no reason? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have, have, have made that thing fall. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made this wind blow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made this alarm ring. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made the kid cry. So he could what? So he could wake you up. To, 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 to do the things that he wants you to do. This does not happen for no accident. No, everything happened for a reason because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind and he wants you and he, he's sending you these messages so he could wake you up and bring you back to him. My dear respect for our sisters, how many times, my dear, how many times, you, you know, we, we hear stories, we hear stories of a man was driving down the road of a man driving down the road and all of a sudden he stopped the car because he forgot something at home and 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 while he was turning a rock in front of him have fallen as if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have reminded him and given him that thought to save him from the fallen rock subhanallah who does this to him who have done that to, who have done that isn't it the most kind allah thief allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how many times my dear is your plan you plan to commit a sin and you leave your house and all of a sudden Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give, give you uh, the thought and make you think that someone is watching you. And all of a sudden because you're scared, because you're scared that someone is watching you and so someone, somebody might catch you committing that sin, you become scared and you stop committing that sin. And, and all of, the, all of the, the energy that you had to commit this sin, all of a sudden it, 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 it evaporates. How did that happen? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. He wants to protect you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. He wants to protect you and he wants you to come back to him. This, this, all of this did not happen for no reason, ya akhwan. Wallahi, no. It happened because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending us these secret messages for you to wake up, for you to come back to him because what? He is the most kind. My dear respect for, for the most kind, for the most kind, to be the most kind, he has to be all-knowing. He has to be the creator of the universe because he is what? The most kind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أَلَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ خَلَقَ أَلَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ خَلَقَ وَهُوَ الْلَطِيفُ الْخَبِيرُ Does, does not Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who have created everything, know who he have created? And he is the most kind and he is the most known. He is the most knowing. He knows it. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knows us. He knows what's inside of us. He knows what we think before we think it. He knows what we're thinking of that thought. He think, He knows what that thought might lead us into. He knows everything. Don't the one who is all-knowing, the most kind, know 
about his creation? Indeed, he does. Imam Sadi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased when he said, he said, He is the most kind because with his with his knowledge, with he, he with his knowledge, he has surrounded each and every aspect of the life. You know, he knows the secrets and he knows the hidden things, and he knows the inside and the outside. He's the most he is he is he's you know he, he used his knowledge to be to, to 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 be the most kind and most kind toward his creation. My dear respect for our sisters, how how when Sayyidina Yusuf والسلام, approached his father Yaqub with this dream in which he told, Oh my father, in Oh my father, I have seen I have seen eleven. 11 planets 11 planets and the earth and the sun and the moon prostrate to me who thought who thought that one day the 11 brothers brothers of yusuf and his father and mother would prostrate him it wasn't an imagination it's something that no one would ever think that something of that child would happen but what it did happen it did happen after many years and after many, uh, uh, after Allah Subhanahu wa Taala have planted that way, you know, because if you know, if you if you if you bring it back to if the, whether it's possible or not, no. If you bring it to a normal human being, he would tell you, no, it's impossible. How this happened? But what? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made it possible because He is the most kind, and He's most kind toward everyone, and most kind toward even His His, his creations that 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 is more more closer to Him. Subhanallah. You know, if you want to talk about Sayyidina Yusuf, look, his brothers hated him. His brother, his brothers planted against him. His brothers threw him in the well. His brothers, you know, attempted to kill him. His brother, and, and because of that, he became a servant. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took that servant, took that servant to make him the king of Egypt. How did that happen? Is it for because of the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And that servant was in jail. And then he became what? The king of Egypt, my dear Mr. Prasad. And then after all of that, what Sayyidina Yusuf said, Ya Abati, Hana ta'wilu ru'ya yaman qabl, qad ja'alaha rabbi haqqa. Oh my, oh, 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 oh my father, he's now speaking to his father. Oh my father, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made the translation of my dream truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he, he made it truth, you know. And, 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 and he continues it. وَقَدْ أَحْسَنَ بِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was so gentle with me. When he, إِذْ أَخْرَجَنِي مِنَ السِّجْنِ And he is the one who have, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who, he is the one who, who, who released me from jail. You know, وَجَاءَ بِكُمْ مِنَ الْبَدْوِ And he brought you out of, out, out, of, out, of the, out of the desert. You know, مِنْ بَعْدِ أَنْ نَزَغَ الشَّيْطَانَ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ إِخْوَتِي After the shaytan have, have made fighting between me and my, my, my brothers. So my dear respect was, why, because, why is all of that? Because at the end, what Sayyidina Yusuf said, in the Rabbi, Latifun lima yasha. Allah, my Lord, he is the most kind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. He is the most kind toward us. But the question is, are we translating things that around us in the, so to, 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 in, in the right way to show that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is so kind toward us? Yes, maybe bad things have happened, but believe it or not, this could be the most kind thing that ever happened to you. Maybe you don't think about it. Maybe, 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 maybe the the, 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 the miseries that happened in Corona happened to you so, 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 to protect you from something, because this is the best thing for you, and etc. My dear Spectre says, how many times we we look at the most awful things and we translate it in the most, yeah, يعني, in the most awful way because of the little that we know. Then Allah said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change it. How many times we see we see uh, an earth, we see a land that is the, the desert-like, that have no hope, you know? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell you, أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَتُصْبِحُ الْأَرْضُ مُخْتَرَّةً إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَطِيفٌ خَبِيرٌ Have you not seen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, 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 he let the rain come down, and he would make this land that you thought that it was hopeless and had no hope into it. He would make it into gardens. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. So my dear respect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knows. He knows us. He knows his creation. He knows how we, what we think. 
And he, he sent us these messages. The question is, we need to translate these messages in the right way. He loves us. He is the most kind. He, he, he sent us these messages so he could bring us back to him. The question is, are we realizing these messages, my dearest brothers? Inna Allah latifun khabir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. He is. He knows us. He knows inside out. My dear, yani how, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to, to bring the smallest things from the end of the earth, you know, from the end of the earth to in, 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 out of nowhere, he could bring anything from any time. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he, he's in control of everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control of everything. But we have to understand this name, Al-Latif. My dear respect, brothers and sisters, how many times, ask yourself this question. How many times you enter into the room on the right time as uh, as your baby was falling out of the chair and you catch him in the, in the right moment? You think this happened because of an accident? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most kind. He arranged for you to come into this room on the right time to save your baby. How many times, my dear respect, sisters, you come, you walk into the kitchen on the right time while there was a spark in the plug or some because or something in the kitchen that could have happened to, to cause a big fire and you caught it in the right time. Did this happen by accident? La Allah. This happened because of the most kind have arranged things in around you to bring you in this time for that reason. My dear Sapar sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most gentle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sent us these 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 hidden messages for us to translate, but uh, for us to wake up, for us to wake up, my dear respect, let us live the name Al-Latif, the most kind, because he cares about us. He cares and uh, he cares about his creation. Look at our bodies, the perfection of our bodies, the perfection of our, the creation that surround us, the perfections of the trees, the perfection of, of, of the mountains and the perfection of, of the gardens and the protection of the birds and the protection of the, 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 the perfection of the animals that surround everything is perfect. Why? Because he is Allah. Ta'ala. Let us live this name and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us. Jazakumullah khair. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you. And I hope this benefit. If this is yani, if you have learned anything from this, if you have learned anything from this, please, my dear respect, share it and like it. So, so many people would benefit from it. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.